You like bad movies? Let's talk Cocaine Bear. According to IMDb, an oddball group of cops, criminals, tourists, and teens converge on the Georgia forest where a huge black bear goes on a murderous rampage after unintentionally ingesting cocaine. If you like what I do, consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram for all the updates. Cocaine Bear sounds like the most bonkers, batshit, crazy idea out there. It has the potential to be really great, but unfortunately it falls mostly flat. It's not bad, bad, fun, bad, or good. It's just okay. It's campy, and there are some good scenes, like when the bear is chasing the ambulance that came to rescue some of the victims of the bear. However, overall, the content of the film is kinda lackluster. It's not really scary, comedic, or outlandish. It's more bland than anything. Some interesting trivia about this movie is this is Ray Liotta's final film. He unfortunately passed away before the film was released, and the movie was dedicated to him. This movie is inspired by a true event, in which a bear consumed a lot of cocaine and eventually died, unfortunately. It was then preserved and is on display in Kentucky. The drug smuggler in the beginning, Andrew Thornton, is a real person and he really did fall out of a plane and land in somebody's front yard, which is crazy. In real life, there were no known deaths associated with the bear or the situation except Andrew Thornton and the bear itself. This movie isn't really bombastic or outrageous and a lot of the individual parts are good, such as the cinematography, sound, lighting, setting, things like that. Visually, it looks great, but altogether it doesn't really work as good as it should. I think the main issue here is the writing slash story. The story drags and not much happens. I feel like if it was a scary suspense movie, like the first Terminator, where the bear is stalking everybody, or in the opposite direction, something horrible like Lamageddon, pure camp where it really is just stupid, it could have worked. However, it's in this in-between place, with an inconsistent tone. It's labeled as horror comedy, but it's not scary or funny. It's kind of... boring? With a lot of nothing going on and unnecessary gore. To conclude, the movie is just okay, and because of that I am neutral. I don't recommend it, but I don't not recommend it. Watch it and let me know what you think. And if you want to support the channel even more, visit us on Patreon.